contradictions, major contradictions in the legal system, or what we would call, from a correct set structure standpoint, the fiction legal system. And that is the legal system that is used throughout the, the world on the earth, uh, specifically in the United States, but it's also the same for, for other locations as well. And that's the premise, the presumption, the assumption that one is innocent until proven guilty. Think about that. That is a claim that the fiction system makes, that they base uh, their fiction mechanics on. Everyone is innocent until proven guilty, and everyone has the quote-unquote right to a speedy and fair trial. Now, now you see the fiction system, you witness them saying this, making these claims, innocent until proven guilty. If you are put behind bars, does that give the appearance of innocence? Does that mean that they really think that you're innocent? If you walk into the courtroom on the first day of court of your case, and you walk in in an orange jumpsuit and ankle bracelets and wrist bracelets, does that give the appearance of innocence? Are you really presumed innocent? No, you are not. This is a contradiction. This is a lie. And this is one of the most obvious things that I can put in front of your face to show you the inherent rottenness of the fiction system, that it's been built from the ground up on a rotten foundation. It's not fair. It's not a geometric level playing field. You are not innocent until proven guilty. You are guilty until proven innocent because you will remain behind bars until your trial unless you can pay a fee for freight to get out if that if that is offered to you but you are still you are still under surveillance and you are still under limitations still under sanction i.e. not innocent presumed guilty until proven innocent and that is the foundation of the fiction system. Everyone has a right to a fair trial. And think about this, ladies and gentlemen. If, you are any, if there are any attorneys or lawyers listening to this, I know that you've gone to school for seven or plus years. I know that you've done tons of studying because the legal system is a lot of information to take in. But here's the thing. As good-hearted as an attorney may or may not be, he or she, at some point in their career, are going to represent a client that they know is guilty. And it will be their job to prove that the guilty client is not guilty. To quote-unquote get them off. If not one time, at least multiple times. Now, can you really say that that attorney is a good person if they represent someone and prove someone to be innocent who is actually guilty? This is the contradiction of the fiction system. Thank you for listening. <laughs>